contains inconvenient truth and controversial topics that may be offensive to some audiences. Listener discretion is advised. Radio from the heart of America now. Welcome back. We're at the top of the second hour of Freedom Friday with Carl Gallup's The Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio. All right, we are back. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, this is the... uh, Live Friday edition. I know we have a Sunday audience that will tune in to this Friday program, and we welcome our Sunday audience. We welcome our listeners from all over the world because we have many that listen to us by podcast after the live show. But we are broadcasting live from Pensacola, Florida, on the Gulf Coast. That's why we are the Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio. We're broadcasting from the studios of the ADX Communication Broadcast Group. They own a multiplicity of radio stations, AM and FM, and we broadcast on this live stream on Fridays, and then you can hear us again every Sunday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Central Time. That's 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. You can hear us again on 1620 AM here on the Gulf Coast and 92.3 FM here on the Gulf Coast. They, too, are a part of the ADX Communication Broadcast Group. And, of course, we podcast this show. You can pick it up every Saturday, oh, about midday, at carlgallops.com. And there are other links, and you can follow them from there. All right? So uh, we welcome all of you, and thank you so much for all of the good things you say about this show and for sharing the show. And uh, our numbers keep going up and up, and the number of people from all around the world and all of the continents and all of the nations and people that are listening, and we appreciate it. We get a lot of good feedback on the show. We're glad that uh, we're able to... to uh, make a difference in your life in the meantime now at the top of the second hour i'm going to bring on mike shoe smith who's still with me mike it's good to have you with me listen uh everything good with you so far mike are you there i'm here i am here can you hear okay. me yes i can i can okay can you hear me now all right <laughs> all right all right well listen and of course my my world famous producer peter laser he's in the house pushing the buttons turning the knobs and making name. everything what yeah a great what name. a great peter name laser. peter laser <laughs> i know I, it, it sounds like a name for spider-man or superman or something like that yeah you know? yeah but but he, he does a superman job in here i'm telling you that he's kind of like spider-man <laughs> too arms legs he works all of the equipment in here with his ears his nose his arms, his fingers, his legs. It's amazing. He's like Spider Man. No no lie. I mean I mean that's wow. almost not an exaggeration if you could see what I see. <laughs> but in the meantime <laughs> Listen, Mike, talk to us about this because you've come across something that uh, I, and people need to know. It's going to sound a little far fetched to some people, but, yeah. but, but people who have studied this out at all, they will understand exactly what you're talking about. Why don't you talk about this meat grinder phenomenon uh, and, 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 and some prominent people that are attached to it and, and this spirit yeah. that's kind of globally pervasive, but it's mushrooming right here in the United States. Why don't you, why don't you educate our folks about it? Well, the previous segment we talked about uh, the the puppy found in Siberia, an eighteen thousand year old puppy that they're trying to shoehorn evolution into this cute little story of finding this puppy, which may only be a couple of years old. I mean, the the thing may have just the guy who owned this thing may be out there looking for his puppy. Yeah. They, they just don't explain how they got the eighteen thousand year old number, and they're trying to shoehorn their stupid BS theory of evolution. BS, of course, stands for bad science. Bad science. Uh, That's theory right. of evolution. That's right. Uh, you know, and they're trying to shoehorn all this into every aspect of our lives, Carl. They're trying to get this evolution message more firmly implanted in people's minds. Why? Why, why, why is this so important that the people like Ken Ham and others, David Rees Ministries, who have completely and utterly destroyed uh, the the uh, the theory of evolution. Um, I mean, the, the the theory should be dead by now. It should be dead. It, well, I should say it is dead. Uh, and they've put like 15 million nails in the coffin. Let's just bury it already. It'd be done with it, and uh, come up with something better already. I mean, this thing is it, driving me nuts. That the that there, there are still people out there collecting welfare out of yours and my pockets to promote this this nonsense theory of 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 microbe to microbiologist uh, evolution. I mean, yeah. it's just ridiculous. Or is it ridiculous? Yeah. Is there a greater scheme at the play here, a greater global agenda? I think I may have stumbled onto it here, Carl, because I used to find it extremely perplexing to watch as 
a hundred thousand preborn children are murdered by hitmen in the womb in my home country of Canada every year, and to have so many voices, including my own prime ministers, cheer the disgusting practice on. Uh, recently, Carl, though, I think I've been able to put some of the puzzle pieces in place. And when I did that, in my own personal research time, I found my perplexity waning because it all started to make sense. Recently, The Sun reported, shocking statistics reveal that not enough babies are being born to replace the U.S. population as birth rates plunge to a 30-year low, Carl, in your country. Uh, the report revealed that the fertility rate dropped to a record low last year, and there were 2% fewer births. That's at The Sun. So as I dug a little deeper, I learned that Canada is expectedly faring much worse, as you can imagine. Uh, as StatCan, an official government agency, reports, quote, despite some fluctuations, oops, the total fertility rate in Canada has been below the replacement level. Carl, get this now. The fertility rate in Canada has been below the replacement level for over 40 years. Yeah. In fact, 1971 was the last year the replacement level fertility of 2.1 children per woman was reached, meaning that couples on average had produced enough children to replace themselves. Well, that has not been true for 40 years, Carl, so yeah. what could possibly wow. be going on here? Rather than speculate, let's allow the billionaire elitists to tell us, in their own words. The New American reported on the following meeting, this is a shocking story here at the New American, back in January 2010, titled Global Obamacare and World Population Control, in which they write some of, the America's, some of America's leading billionaires have met secretly to consider how their wealth could be used to slow the growth of the world's population and speed up improvements in health and education. The philanthropists who attended the meeting, <coughs> the summit, convened on the initiative of Bill Gates, the founder of co-founder founder and co-founder of Microsoft, discussed the joining forces to overcome political and religious obstacles to change. So you see how the agenda here is to silence the voices of the moral majority and the religious right. That, that's, I mean, that's basically, they're just coming together saying, how do we shut the mouths of the, and, 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 and get rid of these religious obstacles, you know, the God and guns people. We've got to get them out of the way here. Uh, described as the good club, Carl, by one insider, it included these names. David Rockefeller, Jr., no surprise there. He's the patriarch of America's wealthiest dynasty. Uh, Warren Buffett and George Soros. George Soros made his billions by bankrupting entire countries' economies. Uh, the financiers, Michael Bloomberg, the mayor of New York, and the media moguls, Ted Turner and Oprah Winfrey, were at this meeting. Uh, yeah. The covert palaver took place, revealed the time story at the home of... Um, check out the language here. This is a little... This is a little 1930s, 1940s language here. At the home of Sir Paul Nurse, a British Nobel Prize biochemist and president of the private Rockefeller University. <laughs> uh, the New American Report, which heavily quotes the Times, also reveals... Now, this is where we get the agenda laid out in black and white here. This is something so... This, I'm a quoting now. This is something so nightmarish that everyone in this group agreed it needs big brain answers. What, are they talk, what is so nightmarish, Carl, that they need big brain answers? They need to be independent of government agencies, independent of government agencies, well, there you go, which are unable to head off the disaster we see looming. Uh, so, so they see, okay, big government agencies, they can't do anything about it, uh, so they need to be independent of these government agencies. Uh, Bill Gates, it seems, exerted a major influence on their decision, quote, taking their cue from Gates, they agreed that overpopulation was a priority, unquote. That was a report at the New York Times, by the way. Uh, and the new American, the new American is quoting the Times here, and so it doesn't seem so perplexing when we see big government liberals like Michael Bloomberg, a name seen often at these sorts of meetings, and is now running for president of the United States, States suggesting that we need more, many more immigrants funneled into the American meat grinder. Presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg said recently that the United States meat grinder needs quote an awful lot more immigrants rather than less unquote. The agenda here, in my opinion, Carl, could not be more clear. I agree. Uh, there's a lot more I have to discuss here uh, if we have the time, but I'll keep going. And you just cut me off. I'm not used to being in this segment, so I don't know what the, what the okay. numbers yeah, are. We got about what a, you're looking at. We've got about a minute and a half. We've got about 30 seconds before you'll start hearing Good. the music. So go ahead. So I think that, you know, when we consider where these immigrants are coming from, you know, like Mexico, where abortion is mostly illegal and culturally viewed as disgusting, 
Uh, it stands to reason, I think, that the globalists would want to set up meat grinder societies and prop them up financially, uh, you know, while at the same time possibly suppressing the economies of anti-abortion, pro-traditional pro marriage societies, right, thereby herding these people like cattle into pro-abortion, pro-gay marriage countries, effectively using them as slaughterhouses. And for those of you crying homophobe, remember, same-sex sex, however you feel about it, same-sex sex is non-reproductive sex which has the exact same effect. Yes. And uh, so is, is humanity being called? I think that uh, the answer to that should be pretty clear to people by now. Uh, and so we will get into that yeah, let's uh, do. after the break. Uh, how do you feel so far about what I'm saying? Yeah, let's do. We've only got 30 seconds. The bottom line is, is I agree with what you're saying because I, too, have uncovered the same information and have put some of this information in some of my latest books because there is a calling. There's a certain group of elitists, very powerful, very wealthy, who truly want to cull the population of the world. And that's not a conspiracy theory. They write about it. They talk about it. They plan for it, and I think we're right in the middle of their plan. We're going to take a time out. We'll be back. Give us two minutes. You're listening to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallups from the Oval Office of the Gulf Coast. An unbearable insult to the herd mentality. Welcome back to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallups, the Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio. We're back, folks. Thank you so much. Come on in the house. Uh, Mike Shoesmith is with us, and... uh, uh, Mike, listen, I, I, I want to give you some time to um, to kind of put a bow on what you were saying, and then let's just talk about this. I've got some things I want to say as well. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, are, are we being called? And so what people may be scratching their heads, maybe not in Florida, because, you know, Florida hunters and, and, and all these outdoorsy people, they know what a call is. But we have listeners all around the world. To call means to select or gather. Uh, however, if you use the word as a noun, a call is a selection of things you intend to reject, often in reference to a group of animals. Like an outbreak of disease, such as a f- foot and mouth disease, can cause authorities to order a call of farm pigs. Uh, too many deer in a populated area where they pose a threat to crops or automotive traffic has triggered calls where they multiply quickly. Uh, hunters are given tags to go after females in order to, to um, reduce the population. In fact, Prime Minister Trudeau of Canada has said publicly of gender side that he has no problem with women having abortions for the sole reason that the child is going to be a girl. And not only is that baby being killed, but every baby she would ever have is also being killed, and so on. I mean, uh, at 20 weeks, a female fetus has a fully developed reproductive system, replete with 6 to 7 million eggs, all of which will never become fertilized and born. Uh, there are no restrictions in Canada at all. I mean, the call is definitely on in Canada. And back in uh, January of 2019, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, which has no laws governing abortion, uh, revealed he's ready to ramp things up considerably. Canada wants to welcome more than one million new immigrants in the next three years, said Trudeau. Uh, That's what the headlines read. Uh, It's a huge number considering Canada only has 33 million people, but the meat grinder needs its fuel, uh, Carl. And isn't it also interesting that the most popular gay dating app in America is literally called Grindr? Yeah, I mean, uh, are they are they just are they just, just they're just hiding this agenda in plain sight here? And uh, you know, I think about Venezuela. Okay, Venezuela is a socialist country with a lot of oil. Why are they suffering so badly when Canada is also a socialist country with a lot of oil? Because in Venezuela, abortion is illegal, totally one hundred percent, except for if it has anything to do with the life of the mother. They they have outlawed abortion, and and uh, gay marriage is not legal in Venezuela either. And you look at these countries like Mexico, it's a socialist country, but uh, you know, uh, abortion is illegal and, and viewed as disgusting by the society there. Uh, but in Norway, for example, Norway is a communist socialist country, and the state has taken over all of the oil business in Norway, just like they did in Venezuela. Why is Norway such a prosperous country? Uh, because in Norway, uh, it's, um, it's uh, an, open, an open government as far as abortion and gay marriage. It's, it's all wide open there. Uh, so... Uh, uh, at least they have a few laws to protect the fetus in the belly. I mean, uh, as opposed to Canada, which has no laws governing abortion. Uh, so, I mean, uh, that's my take on all of this, Carl. We got these are just questions I'm answer. I'm asking, looking for answers. But I think that the answers are right there in plain sight. People like Michael Bloomberg attending meetings where they have decided that the number one problem facing the world is overpopulation. Back to you. What do you yeah. think? Well, you know, Mike, it's interesting because you and I have been doing radio a long time. 
and I, I don't know how many years together on Freedom Friday, I, I've been with this group or with the stations that they've acquired for some 17, 18 years. And I did radio for several years before that, even in my younger days. So I've been in radio a long time, and we've been on Freedom Friday together for, gosh, a dozen years, I would guess, or maybe more. And in the dozen years we've been on Freedom Friday, we have discussed several topics, and I'm not going to go back through them right now, but down through the years, we've been on the cutting edge of uh, unveiling things like what you've just unveiled. Now, many of our listeners know this stuff, okay, because they research it and study it and or they've been listening to us. They've been putting two and two together for a long time. A lot of our newer listeners are joining and saying, wow, I've never really thought of it that way. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. Then others are listening saying, ah, a bunch of conspiracy theorists. Well, but now we live in the world where we understand everything is fake. I mean, fake intelligence. Yeah. It's called artificial intelligence. Uh, fake uh, virtual reality. Right. Virtual reality means it's not reality. It's it's like reality, but it's fake reality. Now we have deep fake videos, deep fake audios, uh, fake science, fake evolution science, fake uh, sexual science, fake. I mean, you just the world is fake. So now we know about fake news. N- you and I. And Brandon, we've been talking, and and Mike Zulo that's been on here with this whole birth certificate thing, we've been talking about this for years. We've been called idiots and conspiracy theorists and tinfoil hats. As a joke, we even made tinfoil hats. We used to wear them in the studio. You remember? Right. Yeah, we did that because, because everybody thought we were crazy. Now, everyone has discovered who's been listening to us, We we were right on the money all along. Right down to Mueller, the CIA, the FBI, the DOJ involved in all of this fakery and this soft coup attempt. We were saying that years ago, and we were called idiots for saying it. Well, now we're talking about this culling. It's been, if people will just research it, they've been talking about it in the science journals and among the big world globalist elite organizations for decades, Mike. And we've been reporting it. I've been writing about it. And I write, and we report very balanced, I think. We don't run around wringing our hands saying, oh, my gosh, look what they're doing to us, and and make all these fancy um, extrapolations. We just say, look, here are the facts. Here's what they're talking about. Here's what they're meeting. Here are their plans. And some of the things that I've uncovered, and you've just mentioned it, is that these these powerful, wealthy masters of the universe people, and there's there's a huge cabal of them, a lot of them are involved in occultic activity, purely demonic, satanic. They have it in their hearts and minds, Mike, and this matches right up with what the Word of God says prophetically for the last days. They have it in their hearts and minds to make a paradise on earth without God. That's what the Antichrist system is all about. What do they want? They want to be the queens and king bees and they want the rest of us to be the worker bees. The problem is there are 7 billion people on the planet, and the controllable, manageable number, they say, is anywhere between a half million people to 2 or 3 billion people. Anything over that, it cannot be managed by all the technology and the spy technology and the military technology. They can manage us. They can herd us like cattle. They want to farm us like cattle and sheep. But they can't do it with 7 billion. They can't do it in America where 100 million of us are armed. So it's a constant culling. The, the radical homosexual movement is a culling. The abortion movement is a culling. The transgender movement is a culling. All of that. And we need your guns. We're going to take your guns. We're going to, I mean, if you can't see what's happening right before your face, and these guys sit around and talk about it, and then they write articles about it and put it on the Internet. Right. And when you and I report on it, people say, oh, they're conspiracy theorists. Okay, well, fake news you used to think was a conspiracy, too, and now you know right. better. So, so it, but, but, Mike, the spiritual aspect is this. It's deep. It's dark. It's demonic. It comes from the pits of Satan's lair, and it was all prophesied in a book called Revelation, written 2,000 years ago, and it spoke of this very thing. You're not going to eat, you're not going to work, unless you take the mark and worship the one who will be the master of the universe on this paradise created on earth, which is nothing more than hell on earth. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, and if you think when you listen to politicians say, yeah, we want you to have your freedom to men marry men, women marry women, we care about you. They don't care about you. They are calling you. When we say, when the government say, we want you to be able to abort your baby at any stage during the pregnancy or at all, 
They're not saying that because they care about you. They're saying that because they are calling you. It's interesting that you brought up Obama's birth certificate. The reason that man is so... I mean, the, Satan has never stopped going after the babies. Never stopped. From, from Pharaoh in Egypt to Herod in Israel to the abortion, abortion movements of today, the devil wants the babies. He hates the babies. They're potential uh, salvation targets, right? Yep. So the, um, the isn't it interesting that the article at the New American, the title of the article is Global Obamacare and World Population Control. Why do you think Obama's being so heavily protected, his, his uh, records and everything? Because he was the tip of the spear to bring Obamacare and abortion to the entire planet. Yes, he was, as well as the radical transgender movement, taking the little boys and right. little girls, showering together and dressing together. And our nation almost exactly. bought it, hook, line, and sinker, brother. Almost. We almost bought it. it. Yep, that's how close we are. Mike, thanks. The music, i got to get out of here. Mike, thanks for hanging with me this whole hour.